Okay, so today we are making a banana pecan raisin nut bread. And right now what I'm doing is I'm whisking together. As you can see, let's bring that here. I'm whisking one cup and a half of flour, bacon powder, bacon soda, salt, cinnamon. I bumped it up with a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of ginger to give it a little spice kick with the cinnamon. And what you wanna do is whisk it well, so that way you do not have any lumps or bumps in your bread, because this is, after all, banana nut bread. We don't need banana lump bread. Yes, I said it, banana lump bread. So now that we are whisking everything together, we are going to whisk in our sugar, and it actually smells good with these spices in it. It is kicking. Kicking like flavor in your ear. Kicking like flavor in your mouth. So let's whisk the sugar. I have here three-fourths sugar. So I'm going to whisk it little by little because I don't want it to, as you can see, I make mess. And I want you to see. I'm going to splatter everywhere. And you want to mix it well with your flour blend and salt blend and baking blend. And it's important to also have things at room temperature when you're baking because you want everything to bake evenly and not out of place. So, pulling that in, and that is three fourths of sugar. I'm making a little flour bed mess, but who cares? A little sugar ain't hurt nobody. And next. I mean, have no lumps. And I gotta add my egg white. Yes. We love the whites of the egg. So I'm separating the yolk from the egg right now. And remember, again, everything is room temperature, and this is a one large egg white. And I'm going to add all of this together. Um, and butter. I forgot to melt my butter, but let's get this egg white in here. With some, uh, hold on. Making a little well. Okay. Is the egg white, just the white. Now we have our regular egg that we're gonna beat. Like a sloppy. But it went in with no shells, ha ha. And we're going to add in my banana. Ooh, ooh, I made a mistake, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's see. We can fix it. We're going to fix this. We're going to fix this. It's going to mix together anyway. So I wasn't supposed to add it to the flour. Rum, rum, rum. Blooper reel. Blooper reel. So we're going to mix this. We're going to switch bowls. Because that was the dry mix. This is the wet mix. So I'm going to get another egg white. We may not have to. Because it looks like some of it landed in here. But it's okay. So we're gonna use what we got. Um, my butter, I have to melt my two tablespoons of butter for you guys, give me one second. And my sour cream. It's a dream with the sour cream. It was all a dream. I used to have Breakstone sour cream. That was a biggie sour cream blended version don't judge me y'all it was all a dream i had the sam brickstone sour cream <laughs> got the coffee and then we get it from a coffee bean ow y'all know what it is y'all know what it is and i gotta add my butter this is one tablespoon of espresso instant espresso i am using my favorite 
Bustalo, because I'm from the Bronx. And you know, everybody know, the bodega that be open 24 hours. That poppy be making that espresso, he be making that Bustelo. And they mix it with milk, or you can go to the Dominican spots, and they mix it with that hot whipped milk. Ooh, baby, that is the best. So this is my favorite espresso blend, which is the... Bustello to give it a little bump 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 and I'm adding a splash of vanilla because I want to You don't have to but I want to Now let's get that butter melted so that I can definitely throw it in here So I'm back and I forgot to melt the butter and let it cool and I'm going to let it cool for a few seconds, but I just want to give you a, again, I made a mistake with the egg white being poured into the flour mixture, which I'm going to leave it because we're going to mix it anyway. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to go ahead and mash my espresso two very ripe bananas and the trick to getting ripe bananas that's not artificially and chemically altered the stems have to be not green they have to be brownish ripened and it has to have brown spots on the actual peel of the banana so I'm just mixing two of those mashing it with my sour cream my egg my egg white a large egg yolk with the white egg with um, my espresso. And now I'm going to add the butter, which is two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna blend that together. And we want it room cooled a little bit because we don't wanna scramble our eggs. And we are going to, and then we added a little splash of vanilla. Now, I'm going to add this wet mixture to my flour mixture and then I'm going to spatula everything in together until there's no lumps and it's all done. So, Even though I made that one little mistake, we're going to use what we got because that's what this channel is about, using what you got and keeping it moving. Keeping it moving, people. I'm praying it comes out good. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me, y'all. So we got the bananas and it smells so good. So I'm going to switch. Made a little well in the center. And I'm going to add a little bit of this flour to the mixture to the flour. At a time. And I'm going to fold it in with my spatula. Flour and spatula. If I can stop making a mess. If I can stop making a mess. And then in between, I'm going to show you. I'm going to add some chopped pecans that I got at my local supermarket. Did I say supermarket? Yes, I did. Supermarket with a little bit of raisins. Because I want to utilize what I have in my cabinet. And I have raisins that I'm going to use in my coleslaw. And I'm going to put a little bit in my banana bread. This looks good. It also smells good, too. And you could use the same method to make you a little banana nut waffle in the morning. Put it in your waffle iron. Banana bread waffles. And you have half of the waffle for breakfast with no syrup. Just plain old banana as a topping and you can eat the other half for a snack so I'm adding all of this in what we need the wet stuff I'm gonna get this so we're gonna scoop all of this all of this we're gonna get all of this out of this bowl. I can smell that espresso, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, everything is in there. Okay. 
Okay, we are good to go. Get that out of the way. And we're gonna fold it in. We don't want to over mix. You don't wanna kill it. You want it to be just right, you know. You wanna kill it with the flavors and people are like, man, that was so good. You don't wanna kill it with it being so dense from over mixing. But we don't want to see no more flour either. So this is where I'm going to make the pecans entrance. And if you have any food allergies, I do not make, recommend adding this when you're making this for a bunch of people. I'm putting what I like because this is also my work snack. A little small piece. And I'm just going to add a handful of raisins in it. good enough for me and this is also good for the kids the kids will love it it's a little treat and this will keep them from having all of that fruit snack like my daughter she's obsessed with fruit snacks y'all pray for me because we all know fruit snacks have those uh, colors and some other gross things that we're not going to talk about this looks really good it smells good And we're just been blending all of the flour and the ingredients together. My spatula is a little bit flimsy, but it's getting the job done. And I'm scraping the bottom and the sides of the bowl. You see, you see the flour is coming up. And see, it's at the bottom. So we want to make sure we get all of that. Okay. And you see the, and I don't like my bananas too mushy, too mashed up. Because this is banana bread after all. Not banana dead. Banana bread. Okay. This is coming along well. I'm getting all of the flour at the bottom. You see that? That's why we scoop a little deep when we fold. This smells so good. Banana bread, y'all. Y'all better get y'all bread on. Make your own bread. Okay, this looks good to me. I think I got all of the flour and we got all of the raisins and the nuts folded in and all of our spices because I bumped this up a little bit. I added some ground ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some Caribbean vanilla extract. Shout out to Palm Tree because that's where I got the vanilla extract from. It's a nice Caribbean store in the Bronx off of Boston Road. So if you're in the Bronx, New York area, please try them out. They're reasonable with their prices. And people from all over go to get fresh uh, veggies, fresh rices, all things Caribbean. You can get fish, oxtails, everything there. Spices, curries, everything there. And that's where I get my vanilla from. Okay, guys, this is it. This is going to work. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grease my pan and put my bread in. I do not have a bread pan, so don't judge me. So I'm going to use a medium-sized aluminum pan. And I'm going to spray this. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. And then we're going to have the finished product. And you're going to love it. And you're going to love me for this recipe. Okay, guys, it's been 55 minutes that I had the bread in the oven, and I took it out. I turned the fire down a little bit because I kept smelling it because, again, I have it in the wrong pan. My fork is clean, which means that it's good to eat. So what I'm going to do is let it cool before I take it out, but this is the final result. It smells delicious. Um, again, I used what I had, and I didn't want to waste the pan, so this is a nice-sized pan. I just took it out of the oven. And I'm going to let it cool and slice this bread up. You can use your bread pan because after all, it's banana nut bread and it smells so good. It smells good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you want to see more, hit the like button and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll know when I'm uploading another Monday tip with a trick. Ooh, look at this. Banana, raisin, nut bread. And it's really good. Nice and look at how, oof, that looks so good. 
see the steam coming out. Try the recipe. Get you some banana bread. Smells awesome. Peace.